I've often said that jujitsu is a microcosm of life. It's a proxy for life. It's not real life, but it encapsulates the characteristics and the essence of life in a very compressed, visceral, intense format. And because of that, I think there are a lot of life lessons that we can apply to the totality of our life from jujitsu. So I made a list. These are the five life lessons that I think jujitsu teaches. Acceptance. What do I mean by that? You walk into a jiu-jitsu academy on your first day of class as a white belt and you will have your ego smashed. I don't care if you're a good athlete. I don't care if you've been good at a lot of things in life. You walk into a jiu-jitsu school, you're not going to have a lot of solutions right off the bat and your ego is going to take a hit. If you intend to continue training, you will have to accept that you are no better or no worse than you are. You have to accept your place in the pecking order. And that ego suppression will happen over and over and over again throughout your journey. I still have my ego smashed. And fundamentally, that requires acceptance. If you can't accept the truth of who you are on the mat, then you're never going to make it throughout the journey. In psychology, they have a concept called radical acceptance and radical acceptance just means that you look at yourself truthfully for who you are. So many people in the modern world, they walk around in this kind of delusion bubble with a false sense of their own capability, a false sense of your, you know, um, your skills. And it's because in the real world, we aren't always tested the way we are in jujitsu jiu-jitsu being a pure meritocracy. And so it requires accepting yourself for who you are. Now that doesn't mean approval. Acceptance is not approval. But if you can't accept where you are, then you don't even have a starting point from which to improve. So acceptance for who you really are on the mat is a lesson from jiu-jitsu that I think can be carried over into our real life. Patience. Patience is something that is less and less common in our instant gratification culture. We have this swipe culture where you're just doing this on your phone, getting dopamine, getting instant gratification. But jujitsu requires an immense amount of patience. I started training jujitsu in 2006. I spent two years, at, or no, I spent a year and a half at white belt, three years at blue belt, six years at purple belt, in part because I had some injuries that I had to deal with, three and a half years at brown belt. It took me about 15 years to get to black belt. You have to have patience on this journey. If you look at some of the great architectural structures throughout history, the great cathedrals in Europe, the pyramids in Egypt, what you come to realize is that those projects took multiple lifetimes to complete. It was not uncommon for a little kid to start as an apprentice stonemason on a cathedral, that kid might have spent his entire life, he might have died decades later, still working on that, and then his kids are working on that cathedral. Nothing worthwhile comes instantly, except maybe if you bought Bitcoin 10 years ago. Everything worthwhile takes patience, it takes patience. You can't will it to happen on your timetable it's gonna happen on its own timetable, and that can help you in your life. Perseverance. Perseverance goes along with patience, 
But perseverance is actually being willing to keep showing up even though you're facing adversity. Perseverance and resilience go hand in hand because the truth is you're not gonna be very good at jujitsu at first. You have to be the nail for a long time before you get to be the hammer. And in order to keep training, you're gonna to have to be coming to class knowing, knowing you're not gonna do very well. You're going to fail. Failure is baked into the jujitsu cake. You will fail and fail and fail. You'll have little successes, you know, few and far between, and then over time, those successes will be greater and greater, and greater. But you will fail for a long time, and it requires perseverance to keep coming back in the face of that kind of adversity. You go home, you lick your wounds, and the next day, you come back again, knowing that it's making you better. And that kind of perseverance is something that can apply to your the totality of your life as well. Adaptation. Jiu-Jitsu is, if nothing else, the art of dynamic adaptation. It is dynamic problem solving. It's an endless series of problems that have to be solved. Big problems, small problems. Within the big problems, there are many small problems. There's that old expression, adapt or die. Right? And in jiu-jitsu, every time we tap out, we are metaphorically dying on the mat. If this was a real fight, if, if it was a self-defense encounter, you don't get to tap, you might be dead. And so adaptation is critically important. Adaptation so that you can solve those problems as needed in order to advance your position offensively or advance your position defensively and it will teach you to be calm under pressure. You cannot problem solve if you're out of control. You cannot problem solve if you don't have calmness, if you don't have the ability to think carefully and constructively about the problems you're facing. And so over time, as you have to solve these problems on the mat, it will make you better equipped to problem solve and to adapt to the things in your real life, maybe at work, maybe in your relationships, maybe with your kids, maybe in your hobbies, to adapt and problem solve effectively within that. Toughness. Jiu-Jitsu will make you tougher. You will become comfortable being uncomfortable. How many people come in as a white belt and they feel almost panicky when someone is smothering them? Or sometimes they tap out just from the pressure or they tap long before it's necessary for the submission. They, they give up mentally, right? All toughness is mental toughness. There is no such thing as physical toughness without mental toughness. You can be weak physically and if you're strong mentally, then you're tough. You can be strong physically. If you're weak mentally, you're not tough. And what jujitsu will teach you over and over and over again is toughness. Eventually, it's just no big deal. You go to class, you engage in these intense physical battles, you get smashed, you get contorted like a pretzel, you get pressured, and it's no big deal. I remember my kids when I started teaching them jujitsu in the basement of my house many years ago. Um, my son Jordan, he was not a tough kid. He was more of an intellectual kid. He was a, a creative kid. And I remember everything seemed to hurt him. Like you'd go to guard pass and you'd push on his knee and he'd be like, ow. Well, go watch his purple belt demo on the channel here. Uh, he's phenomenal now and he's a tough, tough kid. You can pressure him, you can smash him, you can do whatever you want to him and he's not going to quit. So mental fortitude, mental toughness is going to give you huge carryover into the rest of your life. <laughs>